This review looks at IMC Models version of Shoyola SPMTs or Self Propelled Modular Transport. The model comes in a TII Group branded box and although it looked like the polystyrene tray was small there are in fact three of them. Included with the model is a nice little 24 page manual. It begins by explaining how to connect the modules together and that's followed by the connection details for the power pack unit. Then it explains how to connect the modules side on and then it moves on into some more interesting things such as split modules and also scissors equipment. So the manual obviously indicates that IMC models are going to bring out a complete system of SPMT parts. And at the end of the manual there are a couple of line drawings indicating the types of configuration that will be possible. So let's get on and open up one of the boxes and which one shall we pick? Well we'll pick this one and put it to one side and then we'll pick that one and put that to one side. And the one that's left will be subject to some surgery. It's factory sealed with tape all round and when we cut the tape we see the module sitting inside and it's wrapped by soft paper. Also in the box are a bag of connection parts. For the assembly we'll put together a full configuration and to join the two modules end on there are four plastic connection pieces that press into one end and then you can offer up the six line and four line module and join them together. The real modules use a massive pin to connect them and so there's a large fat pin supplied with the model which you have to insert. It goes in well and it only would have been nice if the pin had been black rather than silver which stands out a little bit. There's also a pin to insert for the power pack unit and we'll put that in first. And if we flip it over there are a couple of plastic pins on the power pack unit which plug into the module. Once that's done the assembly is complete. Looking underneath the module structure is robust and the tyres have a realistic tread pattern. Up on top the detailing is very good with a nice textured finish and there are tie down loops detailed in the casting. The wheels are detailed as is the edge of the deck and there are excellent tiny graphics which add to the realism. The end is good too although it would have been nice if it had the pin holder that the real machine has. And moving on to the power pack there's a very nice textured surface on top and some fine etching work on the sides. There's also some very nice paint highlighting of details. Starting with the wheel sets and the wheels all turn easily enough and here we've set all the wheel sets to represent a smooth curve. Moving the module along and it rolls easily enough although some of the wheel sets are looser than others. But each of the wheel sets does have a full range of movement and you can set them at any angle that you want. One thing the model does lack though is any form of suspension or height adjustment in the wheel sets. And that's a pity because it is something that has been seen before in previous versions of the SPMT. Having said that the wheels are reasonably grounded when you push the model along. Included with each module are the parts needed to make a sideways connection. And these are plastic clips and they fit quite well. Once they're fitted and properly pressed home then they make a good connection of the modules. Of course one of the features of a modular system is that you can keep adding modules. And if you keep going you can produce some very large configurations. Let's now move on and see what our SPMT looks like with a load on. And here we've added a heavy steelwork fabrication. That looks quite good so let's try something else. And SPMTs are sometimes used for shifting giant vegetables but only at night when no one's looking. The 
These are nicely presented SPMT modules from IMC models. And certainly their strong point is the very high level of detailing, which means they look realistic. It is a pity they don't have any working height adjustment. But if you want high detail and something that's going to be part of a system, then it's highly recommended. Thank you.